Since water is an amphiprotic substance, meaning it can act as either an acid or a base, we can say that water undergoes auto-ionization, which basically means that it ionizes itself, where one water molecule would act as the acid, another would act as the base that receives that proton, and we see that that would then form hydronium ions that are obviously in aqueous solution and hydroxide ions that are also in aqueous solution. Fortunately, this is a reversible reaction, and since it is a reversible reaction, that means that this reaction has an equilibrium, and we can calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction, um, which is found by the product of the concentration of the two products there, hydronium and hydroxide. And experimentally, this value is found to be 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14, and this is at 25 degrees Celsius. What this tells us is that the concentration of hydronium ions in this solution is then 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per cubic decimeter. This auto-ionization of water allows us to define a neutral or a midpoint on our pH scale. We know that the pH of a substance can be calculated using the log base 10 of the hydronium concentration. And so what we can see here is that negative log base 10 of 10 to the power of minus 7 can be simplified as negative, negative 7 log base 10 of 10. So what this tells us is that the pH of water is 7, which we can define as our neutral point on our pH scale. Since this equilibrium constant is a constant at a specific temperature, we use this as an identity known as the ionic product of water because this identity, the concentration of hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14, means that we have an inverse proportion here, which allows us to determine when the hydronium concentration increases, the hydroxide concentration would decrease, and vice versa.